you know, I, I look at all of these things and I look at different videos where uh, an assailant will pull a firearm on a law enforcement officer and the first thing they do is they immediately pull and draw and mitigate the threat and the risk. You know, I ask why a law enforcement officer did not do so. Um, the other thing is that when you set an advanced team, I keep hearing this about the perimeter elements. Yeah. You know, the perimeter is actually established by your threats that are in the area. So if I don't have any threats outside of 100 yards, okay, fine, I can cord on off a certain area. But if I have a building 160 yards, perfectly adjacent to the stage, that's an obvious threat, especially with an elevated position that has overwatch. That's a sniper's paradise. And, you know, we talk about ego sense. You also have, which no one talks about, but the water tower. So the what I'm hearing from you is it's not, it, it, a failure on the ground for sure, but ultimately a failure in advance? Uh, I think it's a failure in advance. I think it's a failure to have the, the counter snipers to be able to establish their range fit and their sketch maps. I also heard, there are also, we also learned that local snipers were stationed inside that building. I, I, I haven't heard that piece of it yet, but that doesn't necessarily did, make sense unless they were actually in a window which was backed off because a lot of times you would get yourself in there. Sometimes you expose your rifle in a way to try and do a force protection or a show of force that actually stops things. Others are actually more tactical where they'll sit back a little bit, but a sniper for the law enforcement is only trained to shoot off 75 yards, unlike your counter sniper teams that are on sunset. But, but here's my problem. It, it, in having done this for so long, they always say the adage of ignorance is bliss, and I think that's true. I've done thousands of advances. I've done thousands of, of counter sniper operations with our teams in or, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, etc. The amount of negligence, the amount of mistakes that was made here, I have a very difficult time not leaning myself towards that this was intentional as opposed to fecklessness. Wow. Hey, talk to me about that. I actually heard you say this right um, the day after, which I wanted to ask you about what do you mean intentional? CNN's about you know, to freak out. Intentional failure on the part of. No, I wouldn't say an intentional failure on the part of, but I got to just, uh, you know, I sit here and I scratch my head. And you don't want to be the conspiracist. You don't want to be the. I'm person. telling you because that's what it's, that's and, what it's leaning to. No, I, I know. And, and, and that's the issue is that you walk this fine balance of you're not trying to be a conspiracist, but you look at it and you go, how could this have gone so. But it's one thing if someone on the street says it. It's another, I mean, you, Cormills, member of Congress, former sniper. Oh, yeah, it's one thing if one of our street like, rats say it eyebrows go up what wouldn't you say you're walking the line on this intentional what you know, it almost seems to me, I think that an investigation is necessary at this point within Congress, not just the FBI, not just others. You know, I look back at it and I'm thinking, all right, you know, but for an individual, if you looked at the escalations and how they try and approach him, let's just say that it was like, okay, first we want to censor and silence you, then we want to indict and imprison you, now we're attempting to kill you and take you to You, exactly. Let's, let's slow down. Please. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing two things from you. I don't want to jump ahead of things, but I'm also hearing you jumping ahead of things. Well, actually, I'm just looking at all the different possible cases. Capabilities. You know, one of the things as a military member, but, one of the things, well, wait, but one of the things... Look at how bad she wants to stop him. Before, one of the people who's actually done this is that you look at all potential analysis, right? That, Donald that's Trump how and his team have said, do not... The, the, no, I agree. Dial it back. But, do but, not blame this on Joe but, Biden. Oh, well, actually, I didn't say Joe Biden. He never said that. Who's the they, then? Let's be very specific. Well, well that's what the investigations do. Was it local law enforcement that had made the mistakes? Or was there something to it? Was there uh, other types of things that we need to be analyzing uh, or looking at and providing analysis? My, my point is that when something's so significant, you talk about something that hasn't happened in decades, right? I totally... But, I, I, but, but I, my point is, is this. From a perspective of someone who's actually conducted these... Yeah, someone who's been there, done that, lady. This is not like I'm putting together a stage placement in a tight shot. This is about looking at your surroundings. What is my green, yellow, and red route, which is your routes out in case? What is my actual elements of, that I need to be looking at as far as mitigating threats or risks or increased levels? Where's my range fan for the sniper that says, okay, here's my 100, my 200, my sketch. Here's an area where someone could shoot. Here's some, Because here's my thing. So you're Let's saying, just say wait, wait, you're saying this is so basic that how big the screw up was that's what's leading your brain that, down that, this that's road exactly right. ding ding but, ding but, 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 Tom Emmer was just on Tom Emmer was just on with me and no one cares very specifically to me I wrote it down he said very good it is too early to be talking about yes. who is at fault and who is responsible is. that's why an investigation is necessary is it is it not dangerous is it not reckless to use to even be throwing around the word intentional. So to, to, to question things as we do an investigation is recklessness because at that point then should we never question anything? My point is this. I, I'm, not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be PC. But you are. The political environment that we are in. What would it have taken 
right? Let's just say the resources was limited. This is common sense. So how many times have you seen where they just put a, a police car inside of a parking lot with not an officer in it and just leave the lights on as a deterrent? Why couldn't that have been a simple thing that was placed in? Why couldn't we have said to the owner of the actual AGR company, hey, look, we don't want to disrupt your business, but we also want to make sure your parking lot is clear of people trying to park in there for the rally. Why don't we place an officer there? My point is that this was too easy of a solution. And when I think about 160 I'm just so uncomfortable shot, with even having I'm uncomfortable with having to say it. Trust CNN me, needs to be sold and dismantled immediately.